Hello, so you passed the NCLEX. Congratulations. Now you want to know if you passed. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Pearson View trick step by step. Does it still work in 2021? All right, let's go. Okay, before we get started, you're going to need a credit card or a gift card, so something. So grab a credit card, grab a gift card. You do need it. You will not be charged if you follow the instructions that I provide you with. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. The first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you use Google Chrome. It does not work in Safari. A certain pop-up doesn't work. And you're going to go to pearsonview.com. Now, when you get to Pearson View, you're going to go for test takers, schedule an exam. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to schedule your exam. Then there's this A to Z program list, select N, go to NCLEX, the NCSBN one. Then you're going to either sign in or register. If you already have an account, which you should, if you already took the test, you're going to select sign in and you're going to put your username and your password. All right, so then you will be here and you will select start the registration process. I am seeking licensure in the US, US territory or Australia, or you select this one for Canada. We are doing the NCLEX RN. You go to the next screen here. Have you ever taken an NCLEX exam before? Yes, right? Because you'd want to find out your results. Have you ever taken an NCLEX exam to qualify for the same license? Yes. Have you ever taken an NCLEX exam to qualify for a different license? No. Select the country that you're in, the state, the city, and then programs will pop up. So you fill out the rest of the questions. When did you graduate? Um, I know I graduated in 2011 from nursing school, but I don't remember um, what month, but that'll do. My ethnic group and that you're applying for the Florida Board of Nursing. All right, and then you get to the screen, you press next, and this is the moment of truth. So what you want to do here is you want to put an incorrect expiration date or um, an incorrect address. I'm going to put an incorrect expiration date. All right. So you'll put in all your information. I put the wrong address. I put my wrong expiration date and then you hit submit order. And then when you submit your order, this is the pop up that you get if you passed. It says, our records indicate that you have recently scheduled this exam. Another registration cannot be made at this time. So that's the good pop-up that you want to get. Now, have I seen it allow you to schedule an exam every once in a while? I will say um, my 2020 video was viewed 30,000 times in a span of about six months. And out of those 30,000 people, I had maybe two people tell me that they got the bad pop-up and they still passed. So obviously they were upset. I understand that they're upset. They were stressing because they passed and they got the bad. So, I mean, obviously I understand where they're coming from. They were upset. They tried this and um, they were able to schedule it. So they thought they failed and they spent like the whole weekend crying. So if you get the bad pop-up, like if it lets you schedule another one, just know that there's still a little bit of hope that maybe you did pass. Now, if you get this one though, I've never had anyone get the good pop-up and not pass. That has not happened. I haven't had anyone come back to me and tell me like, I got the good pop-up and then I found out I failed. So this is pretty accurate if you passed. So this is super accurate. If you passed, then there's almost like no chance that you failed if you get this pop-up. So there you have it. The Pearson View trick still works for 2021. Make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Until next time. Mm -hmm.